This First of all, you're difference. good at real estate or trying to get good at real estate. Get a professional to do your taxes. We talk about it, you know, all the time. Uh, you get cash flow, appreciation, and depreciation. Mm -hmm. Like you get the best of, of everything in the stock market. You know, what's 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 the Nasdaq? Negative twenty nine and a half. Yeah, that's that's not sexy. You no. know, and I'm really glad you brought up the depreciation. People don't really take advantage of the depreciation that is available to you especially with the cost segregation, even on the single family housing. Yeah, if, if, it, it has to be a high enough number where it makes it like, like I'll, I'll give you all an example. I've got six houses all together in Gastonia. That makes sense for cost segregation because you can do it on all of them together. Actually, when you report them, you can't. They're on the same parcel. There you go. So there I you can. go. Exceptions to everything. <laughs> but here's the thing. I've got a guy actually that's going to be talking on Sunrisers in January. They have a cost segregation tool um, and, and it's 450 bucks. And I wish I had it. I shouldn't be talking without being able to show you what that tool is. You can go to Sunrisers though. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. go to Sun Sunrisers. That's right. We all, I'll put it on that Facebook page. What that tool is, how you can get to it. So it's 450 for the tool. It costs you 450 for each house that you do, $450. Mm -hmm. And and what it does is it, it it allows you to fill out a form and put all the different things you have to see if it's worth it for you to do the cost segregation on that particular house. Yeah. And and if it is, you give it to your um that's when you buy the report. Yep. and you give it to your CPA so that they can change that mm -hmm. the way that they're filing for your yeah. and all it does is it just speeds up the depreciate what you can depreciate on the on the property right and it really works for short-term rental properties because you also have furniture in there that you're able to furniture um, wears out really quick yeah and, it sure and does or, and it's it's a, a it's a it's a hundred percent bonus I mean you get a bonus instant depreciation on that mm -hmm. um so it's well worth looking into yeah uh, to take advantage of that and and i mean that's what in times like this when you know we're seeing maybe some rents decrease or stagnate um you know prices aren't you know you're not having a you know big equity buy on things that you're doing you really need to take advantage of the tools that are there legally there for you to use right. you know they call them loopholes but a loophole sounds like it's a cheating it's not it's using the the laws as they're written to be able to take those discounts and and um, it, you know if you're a landlord and you're doing your own taxes stop it you're being stupid because <laughs> you're the money you think you're saving is you could get so much more back if you do this correctly yep. and really that's what it's and people say, well, I have to just have to add it in when I sell it. You don't add a hundred percent back of what you depreciate. It's, 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 uh, there's a calculation. Yeah. There. There's yeah. a calculation to it. And, and it's, a, it's a lot less than what you're taking off, but you know, you, you want, and here's a great, another great thing is if you can't use all the depreciation in that year, you can carry it over and right. use that the next year or the next year after that. So, so the lesson here is stop stepping over dimes to pick up nickels that's exactly right mm -hmm. that's a stepping over dollars to pick up nickels because having a good um good person that does your taxes first of all you're difference. good at real estate or trying to get good at real estate get a professional to do your taxes and your accounting and your books because as convenient as turbo tax is it is not made for us that's it right made for the a average w2 Joe. person that uh, doesn't have really anything else going. It could be a self-employed person, but it's uh, they, they don't own property. That's right.